Opening up a bottle with a bottle opener is so boring and old school. It's time to pump it up. And I mean up. To build the crazy catapult bottle opener, you're going to need some scrap wood. These are basically 2x2, two 1x2, two, two, and 1x3 pieces of wood. Your dimensions don't need to be the same as long as you follow the general design. Now the best screws to use are countersunk screws with flat heads. That way they'll disappear into the wood, and I'll show you how we do that. And whenever screwing into wood, it's always a good idea to drill a pilot hole, so we'll be using a bit a little bit smaller than the screws. And for a nice clean job, we'll countersink those screws, which will put them flush with the wood. We'll start by using a sanding block just to sand all the edges to make sure there's no burrs or splinters on our wood. I put all the pieces together just to see how the general frame will fit. Time to drill our pilot holes, followed by our countersink bit, and then the screws, and run them in slowly. Now you can see how countersinking those screws puts them flush with the wood for a nice finish. And our frame is starting to take shape. Our top assembly will go over the base and we'll screw that in on both sides. Okay, now it's time to get your favorite bottled beverage and place it on the base. This will be used for measurement for our hammer. Place the 2x2 two two hammer through our housing and line it up so it's parallel with the top of the bottle cap. A threaded steel rod is what we'll use to allow the hammer to pivot inside the housing. So lay that on top of the housing and measure oh, about a half inch on each side and then make a mark. Then taking a hacksaw, we're going to cut that steel rod down to size. Now we'll be using a washer and a nut to secure the one side of the threaded rod and a washer and a wing nut on the other side so we can easily remove this rod. And then we'll drill a larger hole through the side of our housing and then also a hole through the hammer. Now before we install the hammer, there's one last important step, and that's drilling a small hole in the end of the hammer and installing our last countersunk flathead screw. Now we can mount the hammer, so insert the threaded rod through the housing, through the hammer, and secure the one end with a washer and a nut, and secure the other end with the other washer and the wing nut. Keep in mind, you can drill different height holes in the housing, then just move the hammer up or down for different size bottles. Okay, it's time to test it out. Take your bottle, place it on the base, line up the screw head with the edge of the bottle cap and hold the bottle and hit the hammer. Now this is much more fun than a regular bottle opener. You could even have a contest to see who could fling the bottle cap the farthest. And that's how to make the crazy catapult bottle opener. Hey, if you like my projects, then you'll love the stuff my buddies do over at Cottage Life. Their YouTube channel's got some really cool and challenging outdoor style projects, like this amazing amphibious canoe. Check it out. Their videos are really entertaining and fun. They saw, hammer, and drill like crazy, and make stuff you've probably never seen before. So if you're a Kip K subscriber, you need to be a Cottage Life subscriber. So head on over to their channel right now and subscribe to them too. It's Cottage Life. You can click here, and there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.